Hey guys, and welcome back to EtherHub HQ. I'm Sybin here doing a fancy box opening. All the other YouTubers seem to love it, and I love cracking packs just as much as the next fanboy, but not without a purpose. Luckily, this box does have a purpose, going to you guys, my fans and customers. If you're familiar with our hub bundles sold at www.etherhubtcg.com, you'll be aware of our mystery cards that we include in each set. If you're not familiar, what are you doing with your life? Here's a little secret. We have some of the best deals on packs available. Anyway, those mystery cards are going to be pulled from this box, with rares and mythics and yes, even invocations going out first. So be on the lookout for some added value to your orders this month. Everything you see in here will be up for grabs in our Ether Hub bundle orders. And without starting to sound like a salesman, let's crack some packs. All right, let's get to cracking, huh? Ugh. Ugh. Yes. Yes. Smell that industrialized plastic. Ugh. Oh god. Okay. We did it. We did it, fam. Alright. So these packs, I'm going to skip over the commons because, you know, honestly, who cares? Because we already know what the commons are. I'm just going to go straight into uncommons and rares. So we have our first pack. We have Onward to Victory. Renewed Faith. Scale Behemoth, and wouldn't you know it, our first pack has a god, Hazret the Fervent. Nicole from Bad Wolf MTG, you're probably going to be so jelly about this, getting this in my first pack of this box opening. But yeah, uh, getting a god in the first pack, that's uh, that's really exciting and bodes well for the entire box. Uh, Hazret's not my favorite god, certainly not, and certainly not from a, a lore standpoint either. But, uh, you know, it's a god in the first pack, so that's something to be excited about. got Kefnet's Monument, Wayward Servant, Spring to Mind, and the rare Oracle's Vault. Now Oracle's Vault is an interesting card and it certainly has a lot of uh, potential in like commander formats and stuff like that. Although my experience with the card is limited and I don't like it very much. But that's just me from a very you know a limited format kind of mindset. So yeah, Oracle's Vault, nice card. Bone Picker, Trial of Zeal, which we just got the god for, and Decimator Beetle, and our rare is Glory Bound Initiate. Now, Glory Bound Initiate is a very aggro-y card, and I love it in draft and limited play. Uh, one of my one of my top picks whenever I see it easily. Uh, just a card that can just wreck your opponent real quick, and I love it to death. Here we have Time to Reflect, Vizier of the Ferment, Angler Drake, hey Nizahan, how about that, uh, and Foil, Hyena Pack, eh, whatever, and our rare is Throne of the God Pharaoh. Now, obviously this is supposed to go into like uh, an aggressive deck. Uh, I still don't like it, uh, regardless, I'm not much of an aggro player anyway. Uh, but still, can we just note that this throne looks incredibly small for Nicol Bolas, the God Pharaoh? I mean, how is he going to sit on this thing? Really, honestly. Oh well. <clears throat> Cryptic Serpent. Lay Claim. Grasping Dunes and the rare Prowling Serpopard? Prowling Serpopard. 
Okay, so I do agree with Matt from Total MTG that this name is kind of tricky to pronounce. I want to say Prowling Serpopard, or Serpopad, but it's, it is Serpopard, which is correct. Uh, cool creature, uh, can't be countered. Spells can't be countered. Uh, creature spells you can't be countered, uh, rather, but eh, decent card. Um, hasn't seen much in terms of playing standard. Uh, but it, it's a good sideboard card nonetheless, especially against those control map matchups. Uh, great pick and limited, uh, just because it's a big body for a cheap cost. But still, it's a good card. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> uh, Sixth Sense. Ew. Destined to get on there. Get. On. There. Destined to lead. Grave Digger and Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar Mage, huh? Well, I don't like it, that's for sure. Uh it's not a, it's not a great card. It's a one drop with prowess, basically. Um I don't know. Don't this is probably this is the worst pack we've opened so far. Eh. You know, you you take to go to bad. So you guys are probably not going to believe this, but the toilet here in the store exploded and it dumped water everywhere, so I had to stop recording and take care of that. So if in this video you see my hands looking kind of kind of dirty or, or banged up, it's because I was dealing with that and it was not a pretty scene. Anyway, that's taken care of and now we can commence to cracking some packs. Here we have... Protection of the Hecma, ew. Labyrinth Guardian. Trial of Solidarity, and our rare, Drakehaven. Now, Nizahan loves Drakehaven and loves it in cycle decks, and I like it too. It's actually really nice in limited play anyway, but I'm still looking for it to fit somewhere in a cycling standard deck. Uh, it might be a little, it might be a little slow. Um, maybe not, I don't know. I, I still like it regardless. But, uh, yeah, Drake Haven. Kenra Charioteer, Reduced to Rubble, Defiant Great Maw, and our rare Curator of Mysteries. Now this is another uh, limited all-star bomb that I love. Just a 4-4 four, four flying for 4 with a nice little benefit upside for scrying 1. And it's, you know, it's done some work for me in some drafts and it's a pretty decent card overall. Battlefield Scavenger. Open into Wonder, Vizier of Tumbling Sands, and a Mythic, Cruel Reality. Now, Cruel Reality is a card that I think is hot garbage. Yeah, it probably is for standard regardless, but for limited, it actually isn't awful if you have the mana to pay for it, it is. But regardless, uh, it's a Mythic, not the best Mythic, but it is a Mythic, which is a nice, decent pull. Hazard's Monument, Warfire Javelinier, Watchers of the Dead, and our rare Heaven to Earth. Now, Heaven to Earth is one of these dual spell cards with Aftermath that I really like, you know? It's nice removal for green and red. Uh, the Heaven isn't always going to hit as much as you'd like, but the Earth is really nice at least. And um, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good effect overall if you're running those colors. Petra's Mark, Nest of Scarabs, On Crop Crasher, a Foil Enigma Drake, that's nice, and our rare Sandworm Convergence. 
Now, if you want to ramp something out, this is the thing. I mean, this thing is expensive, but it is worth it. I love it. I've never played with it, and I probably never will, but I love the card regardless. Cryptic Serpent, Trial of Strength, Lay Bear the Heart, which is nice, and a rare Fetid Pools. Our first bicycle land of the box. What else can I say? It's a dual land that you can cycle. It's nice. By Force. Sensor, Limits of Solidarity, and look at that, a Foil Limits of Solidarity, and our rare Chandler Initiate. So Chandler Initiate, uh, in my experience so far, has been very, very good. I love it. I mean, I always seem to be able to get this thing at least a little early in my limited uh, play, but, you know, obviously it gets worse as time goes on, it becomes a lot easier to kill when they have stuff out, but you know what, it's... It's a good card. It's nice. It's nice mana ramp on a nice creature that can become a, a pretty big body. You know, for two mana, not bad. <clears throat> Decimator Beetle, Hazard's Monument, Lord of the Accursed, and our rare Liliana's Magistry. Now. This is a card that I didn't really like going into the set, but you know what? Zombies are very prominent right now, and this card has been pretty good. And in limited, I have been absolutely wrecked by this card before, so I respect it. Synchronized Strike, Trial of Knowledge, Deem Worthy, which is nice removal, and our rare Prepare to Fight. Now, I never really, like, when the set was first spoiled, uh, these dual Aftermath cards I thought were mm, dubious. Some were okay, um, others not so much, and, but this one's nice. I actually like Prepare to Fight quite a bit. It is, uh, you know, it's a combat trick with removal attached to it, though the fight's kind of expensive, but you know what, it's, it's still good. Bone Picker, Ronus's Monument, Oketra's Monument, which is probably the best monument out there, and Champion of Ronus. Now, I kind of over-evaluated this card when uh, the spoilers were released, um, but it's okay for what it is. Uh, it's a card that your opponent has to deal with immediately, or else they're they're going to get completely destroyed by it, and that's why it kind of makes it a hard, uh, hard target to keep alive, but... Uh, it, it does it does work out quite well, especially if you draft some big stompy uh, sandworms with this guy and play him out on the cheap pretty early. And it's a nice card. It's really good. Embalmer's Tools, Avon Wind Guide, Shefet Monitor, and our rare Gideon's Intervention. Now, this is one of my favorite cards in the set, not because of what it does, even though it is pretty good. It's because of the story that it tells, and the very last chapter of the Amon Get storyline, and how Gideon has to protect uh, Samud and her friend from the stabby stabby Hezerits. But, you know, outside of that, I love the art for the card, the card's great overall. It's just one of my favorite cards of the set. By Force, Gate to the Afterlife, which just opened, by the way, Grim Strider, and our rare Neheb the Worthy. So Neheb by himself is pretty good, and I have seen a couple people draft successful quote-unquote Minotaur decks, um, especially with him in it, because a lot of people won't pick him for like early at all because of these two different colors, and he's kind of specific to a tribe, but... 
Uh, overall, Minotaurs are not great in standard, at least not to my knowledge. I've never seen it tried or played, so it's kind of a good limited card in a way. Uh, but I really want to see Minotaurs actually have a viable deck. Hopefully with Hour of Devastation, but who knows. Trial of Ambition, Blood Rage Brawler, Honor Crop Captain, and our rare Glyph, Glyph, Glyph Keeper. There it is. Uh, okay, this is another card that I've played and have drafted and have done very well with. You know, a 5-3 flyer that can keep coming back is really nice, and he basically has Hexproof. Um, my opponent spending two spells on this thing to, to, to kill it is, is rough for any player. So... Once it's out, it's probably going to stay out there until something blocks and kills it, but then it just comes back, you know? It's a good card. Very good limited card. Here we have Vizier of Remedies. <laughs> Shadowstorm Vizier, which I think is, has some of the best art in the set. Uh, Seraph of the Suns and our rare Pool from Tomorrow. Now this, uh, it's nice, it's, I mean, it's good card draw, I, I don't expect much out of it anytime I, I see it. Uh, it's definitely not a card that I first pick very often, and, you know, it, what do you expect? It's just a card that draws you more cards. Faith of the Devoted, Gate to the Afterlife. Baleful Emmet, and our rare Bounty of the Luxa. Now, this is a very, very interesting card, and again, Nizahan would approve of this pack because he loves Bounty of the Luxa, and all his drafts, whenever he sees it, he picks it up early, and it does some really great things for you, you know? Adds mana to your mana pool, allows you to draw some extra cards. It's nice. Uh, you have to go those colors, of course, or close to it, but it's, it's a good card overall, and it does a lot of work. Sands, Exemplar of Strength, Warfire Javelinaire again, and a Foil Full Art Swamp. That's a pretty nice card. I like that. I love that artwork a lot. And it's foil and it's full art, which is rare in Amiket. And our rare actually is Scattered Grove, another Bicycle Land, Celestia Colors. You know, I like the Bicycle Lands quite a bit. There, you know dual land that you can get rid of late if you don't need any more lands and you're flooding quite a bit which Amonkhet as a set does very well you know there's not a lot of flooding in this set there's always something to dump your mana into it feels like so that from a limited uh, limited perspective is really really nice so keep it up wizards consuming fervor trial of solidarity lay claim a foil river serpent and our rare another god our second god of the box Ronus the indomitable now Ronus is probably my favorite god of the cycle uh Hezeret probably being my least no I think Bonzu is my least definitely from a lore standpoint and a card standpoint but Ronus is actually really good uh you're playing a stompy green deck monsters green red monsters he's always going to do some work for you uh, his ability is actually relevant, gaining trample, or giving trample and plus two, uh, to, a, uh, to a creature that you control. And most of the time, if you're playing this kind of deck, you're going to make him a 5-5 death touch indestructible on a regular basis, so he's good. I love him. Ruthless Sniper, Chef and Monitor. Edifice of Authority, which is another all-star classic for uh, Nizahan anyway. He loves drafting these things. And our rare Pyramid of the Pantheon. So it's a good artifact for fixing mana. Unfortunately, I don't like it. <laughs> I just, I don't, uh, I don't rate it very highly. And I certainly don't pick it very highly. Uh, I also, I don't pick it very often in general, you know? Um, so Pyramid of the Pantheon is not the best card out there. But hey, it's what we pull. Z 
Zenith Seeker, Six Sense, ew. Gale Strike and our rare Temet Vizier of Naktamun. So Temet is a card that I thought was going to be really, really, really strong. Well, when the set was first spoiled, um, I just haven't found the right place for him. His embalm cost is is high, uh, and he obviously wants to be in an embalm deck or a token deck. Uh, but they just they, they just haven't popped off yet, you know? Maybe in our Devastation we get some more, and uh, uh, they get some love. But right now, Tenet, you're not doing much. But hey, you're like a 17-year-old, so whatever. Trial of Ambition, Sacred Excavation, Deem Worthy again. And we're keeping the legendary creatures rolling here with Hapetra, Vizier of Poisons. Now, Hapetra, your your appearance in the lore has been brief, to say the least, uh, and very like undicative of your actual character. At least I feel your character would be if you were given proper, you know, ex explaining in the story. Uh, but you know. Good card, very, very nice card in green, black, negative counters. You know, it's just amazing overall for that. Uh, also, great limited pick. Fantastic card. Another Lord of the Accursed. Merciless Javelinier. Defying Great Maw. And our rare Sweltering Suns. Now this is a really, really strong form of removal. Of course you have to watch your own stuff, but still, three mana to deal three damage to all creatures with cycling three is just amazing, you know? You don't get a type of removal like this very often. Um, of course it does have a downside, but you know, if, you don't, if you're not in a position where you can actually effectively use it, you just cycle it away. It has a great out, which I love to see on any card. Here we have Enigma Drake, True Heart Twins, Grim Strider, and another mythic legendary creature, Samut, Voice of Descent. Now this is a really strong card. Uh, very strong and limited if you happen to go her colors. Uh, and guess what? She's actually a Planeswalker now in Hour of Devastation, so great upgrade there, Samut. Vizior of Remedies, Grasping Dooms, Zenith Seeker, and wow, a foil Archfiend of Ithnir, which is a great, amazing card, especially for Limited. I've done some amazing work with this thing, and guess what? This is definitely going to win pack MVP, because this is one of the best packs that we've gotten so far in this box. A Gideon of the Trials. Now, Gideon of the Trials is going to be replacing his brother soon. Um, and, you know, he's a good replacement overall. It's a good card. Uh, very strong for vehicles and everything like that. But this was one of the stronger packs by far. A foil rare and a planeswalker. That is some sweet stuff. Angler Drake. Hey, Nizahan, how you doing? Vizier of the Ferment. Zenith Seeker again, and our rare Shadow of the Grave. Now this Shadow of the Grave has the potential of doing something great if you have a cycle heavy deck. I mean of course you're going to return a lot of cards into your hand if you cycled a lot. So far in Limited I haven't made it, I, mean, I haven't made this card worthwhile, but you know I'm sure it would get there eventually, especially with more cycling cards coming out. Sensor, Gale Strike, Trial of Zeal again, and Commit to Memory. Now, this is one of the, the rare cases that we have a split card with Aftermath that is the same color for both spells. Unfortunately, I don't like it. It's just I find it a little too expensive for both of the effects, honestly. Even if they are just mana things, you know, 
A little pricey for my end, but eh, what are you gonna do? Battlefield Scavenger, Devoted Crop Mate, Destined to Lead, and our first cat of the box, Regal Caracol. The Cat Lord of Amonkhet. It's an okay card, uh, it's a very solid pick for limited. Uh, cat decks are kinda a thing, maybe, eh, not really. But, hey, it's, it's, it's a strong card overall, and, you know, a card that comes into play with two two twos, basically, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good card. So, um, Regal Caracol, you're not doing too bad. Ruthless Sniper, Bantu's Monument, Reduced to Rubble, and our rare Heart pa and our rare Heart Piercer Manticore, the Cat Fling with Embalm. Yeah, I love it. It's a great card. It's kind of removal attached to a creature, so yeah, it's a creature with fling, and then you get to fling things twice, so it's pretty good. I like it, it's good, it's a good limited card, because it's a 4-3 for 4, and you get to play it twice. It's great, it's a good, good card. Our last three packs of the box, uh, this is Hapatra's Mark. True Heart Twins, Crocodile of the Crossing, which I love, and hey, won't you know it, Anointed Pro Procession. Now this is uh, the Ether Hub's special spoiler preview card that we got from Wizards of the Coast. Uh, is it the best card ever? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Does it have a great place in standard right now? Right now? No, it, it doesn't. Uh, is it a good limited pick? Eh, I wouldn't first pick it, but it was... It's a it's a card that's close to our hearts, you know. It's our spoiler, you know. We, we gotta we gotta look out for our spoiler. Uh, that being said, not the best card. Could be better in our devastation. We hope, but as of right now, it's a nice effect. Flame blade adept. Edifice of Authority, Spring to Mind, and one of my favorite Embalm cards, Vizier of Many Faces. I love me some clone cards. I really do. I love it. And this card is one of the best because it dies, it comes back as a different creature. So you can selectively decide when it dies and then make it become something that's better that's been played since. I mean, I love it. It's just a great card overall. Start to finish, on crop champion, cast out, which is really good. I was expecting to get more of these, but hey, what are you gonna do? A foil stinging shot, and our last rare of the box, new perspectives. Now I have a new perspective on new perspectives because apparently it's decent. I didn't know it could be done, but hey, apparently that's what people have been telling me. Uh, what are your thoughts on this card? Because I absolutely have no idea. I think it's bad, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that's the box. So guys, that was our first mystery card box opening for the Ether Hub. Remember, you can win all the cards here from our Ether Hub bundles at www.etherhubtcg.com. Hurry though, Gideon and this foil arch fiend will be going out first. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time here at Ether Hub HQ. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Ether Hub here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, support the channel and all our creators by liking, sharing, and of course subscribing so you never miss our latest video. You yourself can become an honorary hub member by visiting our store at www.etherhubtcg.com. We have a special pre-order event happening right now where you can snag some of the best deals on packs available. Afterwards, consider visiting our friends over at 5 Color Combo. They have an amazing free app that I use to practice my limited picking skills along with custom art playmats and tokens. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, never be afraid to feed your obsession. I'll see you guys next time.